Trump is accused of violating campaign finance law. Talk of impeachment appears to be back on the table. And one of the top House Democrats has even mentioned the prospect of arrest after the president leaves office. Political analyst John Keller shows us tonight that if history is any indication, a move to impeach could spell trouble for the country. They would be impeachable offenses. Uh, the I word is back. We are introducing articles of impeachment to remove President Trump from office. It was bandied about by a handful of Democrats and a few anti-Trump activists a year ago, until Democratic leaders put a lid on it for fear of voter backlash in the midterms. But now that the president has been all but named a co-conspirator in alleged campaign fraud, the gloves are off. They were committed in, 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 in the service of fraudulently obtaining the office. Uh, that would be the, the uh, that would be an impeachable offense. But history tells us the third impeachment attempt since 1974 would come with serious risks. A full, free, and absolute pardon unto Richard Nixon. That pardon cost Gerald Ford his shot at a full term because of deep national divisions over what had happened. I never should have misled the country. Schisms made worse by the Clinton impeachment process. And if you think Republicans will now quietly accept a Trump impeachment attempt, think again. If their agenda is simply investigations, impeachment, and not focused on the hardworking American public, we'll be there to defend the American public. And even James Comey, no fan of the president who fired him as FBI chief, is saying, be careful. I hope Donald Trump is not removed from office by impeachment because it would let the country off the hook and it would drive into the fabric of our nation a third of the people believing there was a coup. And I don't know that we want that. I would suggest maybe we don't. It is DOJ policy that a sitting president cannot be indicted. Yeah, impeachment is really the only way to remove a president who is accused of criminal activity. So. Why would you not use it if there's evidence of a crime? The founders gave that tool to us for a reason. I agree with you, but why would you not use it? There are many people, Liam, who believe that a lot of the divisiveness in our country, uh, apathy, cynicism, dates from the uh, Nixon impeachment and the Watergate era. You know, you're talking about something 44 years ago and it's still having toxic effects. I would just say to people, keep that in mind before you start clamoring for impeachment tomorrow. And we have to wait to see what Mueller says. Exactly. Let's see some more facts. John yeah. Keller, thank you very much. Paula, over to you.